What's up guys, Do here bringing you a very quick render settings tutorial. Because This will be really quick and I just, I'm going to probably throw out more than one tutorial today. Just because I've been, been really inactive because I've had a lot of stuff going on in soccer, school, stuff like that. So, let's make this quick. Um, first thing you're going to need is a clip obviously and then you're going to just put it in the composition. So here we have its clip that I have. Um, I'm going to... This seems kind of blurry, so I'm going to add something. This is going to be basically an exact replica of Darezebo's, um tutorial. Basically, it, not because I copied him or anything, but because he has the best render settings. And Well, I didn't copy his render settings. Oh, whatever. Okay, just don't pay attention to anything I just said. Okay, so here's where you're going to want to do. Actually, I'm going to delete this. Um, you can so let's say you add that you add your color correction CC. Oh my God! Preset no uh, bigger. Yes. Okay. So we just throw that on. Actually, no, it's all I don't like that. Oh my God! I don't know what to do. Okay, well, all the presets I have are from um, Magic Boat Looks, so I'm, I'm really, I don't want to open that up. Okay, so you have this, you have your clip, and it is ready to be exported. First thing you're going to need to do when you export is you're, you're going to want to take your work area and you want to drag it to what you want to export. So let's just say I want to finish right here. I will go to 9 seconds and I'll drag it over here. And I want to start it right here. Okay, so we will go composition add to render queue. Now this is where you're gonna need to remember stuff, okay? Go to best settings, keep this at best, full resolution, because you put it like a quarter, everything will it just here's what it'll do. Well, right now it's at a quarter, and that's probably why it wasn't looking too good. When I put it at full, it looks like that. So I can probably bring this up a little more. That's fine. Okay, but render queue. You have this, um, you want it at full, um, you, now I'm going to explain the framing. If you're up uploading a mega upload or a game front, then, and you want, or like uploading clips to upload, like for people to edit, you want to keep the composition frame rate. But if you're uploading to YouTube and YouTube only, use this frame rate. Or actually, if you want to get really precise, I'm typing 29.97, because that's what YouTube downgrades their, um, YouTube downgrades, uh, videos so it ha creates a faster upload time so that's what you have to do if you want the fastest upload time and so if yeah if you're uploading to youtube use this or 30 and i think we're good so click ok go to lossless and we're gonna go h.264 normal um we're gonna go to oh, hold on make sure audio output is checked Resize doesn't really need to be checked. You can check it anyways because just make sure your aspect late ratio, bah! aspect ratio is at locked at 16 to 9. Now go to format option. Now um, go CBR. I don't know why I had VBR on, but the bit rate. If you want the best quality that you can get and you don't care about render time, bring it all the way up as much as you can. But if you care about render time. Um, you can kind of bring it down-ish. I like, if I want a fast render time, I'll keep this at like 130 because I like quality. Make sure it's at main, make sure it's at 5.1. Now you can click OK, now you can click OK. Now, output 2. Um, I'm going to write down render settings and I'm going to save to my desktop. So we're going to render this. Hopefully it won't take too long. If it takes a long time, I am going to stop it, but it doesn't really look like it's taking too long. While it is rendering, there's, I'm going to go over something that I didn't learn about until I watched Darezebo's tutorial. And this is an, another kind of application where it deletes and gets rid of all the miscellaneous information to make your file size smaller. So after you render this, let's say you're rendering like an episode or like something like that, you're probably going to have like a 100 megabyte um, file. But once you put it into Handbrake, 
you can download this for free. It's a free application. Download it off the internet. Um, once you download that, it'll delete all the miscellaneous information. It is really quick, and um, it'll it'll keep the quality. So, come on, finish rendering now. I want to show you these. Yeah. So, waiting for this to render. I don't know who got these clips. I downloaded them off of some community montage editing trial thingy. But uh, the gamer tag for most of the clips that I've been using is Bon Aqua. A really good player. Five man feed right here. I used I think I used one of the his underground clip for my OCE. And I think he was also on dome. I'm not sure though. But we're done. Ish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. Oh, okay, never mind. We're done. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to delete this. I'm going to... What? Never mind. I'm going to go to handbrake. And, yeah, this is where I exported it. Now, it, when you open up handbrake, just look it up on Google. And if a bunch of people say, I can't find it, well, I'll link you to what the download link is. So you want to click on the one that you just exported, render settings. Also, look at this. Get info. This is 107 megabytes. This is a really big file. Click on render settings. And note that I think it's 29 frames per second. And so you start it. Don't, don't, what the fuck? Oh my god! Okay, don't worry about this M4V. It's the same thing as MP4, okay? It's just that it's using the same name, and since it can't use the same name because it would it would screw up your computer, like your computer would get confused, it can't have the same name. So it's, all it's doing is just changing the extension name. It is still an H.264 MPEG-4, so don't need to worry about that. Do not mess with any of this stuff. Um, if you want... And so you want a target size, um, you can change that. I want constant quality though because I don't want the quality to change. So now, note that this was 107 megabytes. Get info is 9.2. That cut it down a freaking ton. So um, that's my that's my render settings. It's what I use to render set ish. It's what I use to render. Forget it. I'm lost for words right now. I'm lost for words almost every day. But I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, leave some tutorial questions on what you want me to do on my channel because there's nothing there. The only thing that I'm posting there to my friends is getting really annoying. So if you want me to do a tutorial, just click on my channel. There's a little box at the top saying what tutorials you want me to do. And uh, that was my render saying tutorials. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This has been Doe and I'm out. Peace.